Article 1 is adopted. Good morning. Breaking overnight, impeached. President Trump becomes just the third president in U.S. history to face potential removal from office after two historic votes on Capitol Hill. The House has acted on a very sad day to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. The president striking back at a rally with supporters at the very same time his fate was being decided. This lawless partisan impeachment is a political suicide march for the Democrat Party. This morning, what's next for the Senate trial and why the timing of it is suddenly up in the air. Final face-off, the last Democratic presidential debate of the year just hours away with only seven candidates set to take part. And just this morning, our new poll on the state of the race, who's moving up and who needs to score big tonight. Wild weather, tens of millions from Maine to Florida waking up this morning to brutally cold temperatures. Al will tell us how long they'll stick around. Plus, the story behind this sudden snow squall that hit New York creating chaos for commuters. Those stories plus alarming breach, the airport security concerns being raised after a 17-year-old girl steals a plane and then smashes it into a building. Tis the season, the new holiday scams you need to watch out for during the last shopping weekend before Christmas. And today exclusive. Live from New York, it's the Eddie Murphy Show! After 35 long years, Eddie Murphy is back and ready for his Saturday Night Live homecoming. You know, wait 35 years to come back and the show ain't It'd be like, yeah, it's like people clapping going, I thought he was going to be much funnier than this. <laughs> and there was just one man he wanted to talk to about it. Al's interview with the comedy icon today, Thursday, December 19th. 2019. From NBC News, this is Today with Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kotb, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hey everybody, welcome to Today on this Thursday morning. Thank you for joining us. We've got a nice holiday crowd outside all bundled up. It's yeah. like 18 degrees out there. The Christmas tree is looking good. We're going to go see them a little bit later, but we do want to begin with a pivotal moment in our nation's history, and it played out overnight on Capitol Hill, and a lot of folks this morning waking up and the checking newspapers out the papers. of record in this country really capturing the sen yeah. sentiment, of course. Wall New York Street Times, Journal. Wall Street Journal president impeached. USA Today, and here is the Washington Post banner headline: Trump impeached. Michigan reacting to the news as it unfolded. Take a look at our new poll, by the way. We're revealing just how voters in this country feel about impeachment split right down the middle. 48% say yes, they support it. 48% say no, we are going to break down what happened, what comes next, what it all means as well. And we start with NBC's Peter Alexander. Peter, good morning. 